We're about to get underway here at Staplewood. As I've mentioned, it's not a very pleasant evening. Liverpool in all yellow. Saints, of course, in their red and white stripes with black shorts. That's an excellent ball from James Ward-Prowse. It's cut back for Philip Juricic. And it's deflected wide off Jordan Williams. As Sam Gallagher's pass found Juricic on the edge of the box. He took it first time. And it was deflected behind target to swing it in once more. That's a better delivery. And oh, it caused problems. But Harry Reid from distance and it's cleared away. That was again from Kevin Stewart. Here's Reid. That's a clever header. Struck good save from Dan Ward. I think it was... Jason McCarthy with the shot actually. Good header from Harry Reid to find him. And it's Saints working hard to try and win the ball back and putting Liverpool under plenty of pressure inside their own third. That's a dodgy kick back, but Dan Ward does well to play it out to the other side and find Williams. Goes back to Ward. Liverpool more than happy to do what Saints do and build up, but that's a poor pass. Seager's opportunity and he's put it wide. It was a great chance for Ryan Seeger, but he couldn't quite finish. He had Philip Juricic to his right. But with 15 goals this season, you expect him to go himself from there. That's Reid playing a good ball through. It's Sam Gallagher. Great opportunity. Great save. And it's cleared away. Really good ball from Harry Reid. Sam Gallagher went through. He gave the call to Ryan Seeger. But both Ward and Cleary did their jobs. And it's a corner for Saints. Here they come. Harrison Reed tracking the run. It's come wide for Trickett Smith. He goes for goal and it's held by Gazaniga. It was a good breakaway from Liverpool, that one. Yeah. Goes back for Florin Gardos. He has to go long. And that's flicked on inadvertently by Maguire. And here's Seeger. Crosses. And it's come for Ward Prowse. Oh, it was a great opportunity for Prowse, but it was a good save from Ward. Prowse again. Can't get the ball back into the box, and it's cleared away for a throw-in. That was a good opportunity for Ward Prowse. Great. It's a good play from Ward Prowse under pressure to find McCarthy, who then finds Harrison Reid. That's nice play from Saints. They've done well there. That's a good ball from Juricic. Here's Ryan Seeger. Yeah. Scores! Yeah. Deflected strike, and Ryan Seeger scores his 16th of the season. A terrific pass from Philip Juricic and Saints lead 1-0. Well, we've said it so many times that if you get Ryan Seeger in and around the penalty area, he will get you goals and he's shown it there. A great low strike ball in from Juricic. I actually thought Juricic was going to go wide to Gallagher. Instead, he went central to Ryan Seeger and he's uh, smashed it home. Someone... That's a good ball from Ward-Prowse to find Gallagher and he finishes. He certainly wasn't offside, but the flag has gone up. Must have been against his Grove. Yeah, I think it was. I think Lloyd was offside, and to be fair, he probably was interfering with play because he did go for the ball. Sam put it in the net, and uh, now the referee's having a word with Sam for some reason. Sam. Liverpool just, just perhaps trying to push forward a bit more than they have at any point in the game. That's a good touch. Gazaniga does well to come out and stop Harry Wilson from getting in behind there. He had to be alert, and Gazaniga did really well. That's a fantastic kick as well to find Isgrove. What a ball that is. Here is Isgrove. Crosses for Seeger, but it's just behind him. Breaks for Juricic. Sets it back. Here's Ward-Prowse. Fires over the bar. Tries to curl one from distance, but it goes over the bar, and Liverpool have a goal kick. And it's played forward for Canos. He does well to find Wilson. No call from the linesman. The referee looked towards the linesman. And he's shown a yellow card here. Oh, he's shown a red card. It's a red card for Harry Wilson. He must have said something to the referee and he's been shown a straight red card there. He thought he, thought he deserved a free kick and it wasn't forthcoming and he said something to the referee who showed no hesitation in showing a straight red card. Stewart once more. Goes for goal from distance. Comfortable save for Paolo Gazaniga. Stewart didn't have too many options there. And I think that's the reason why he went for goal from distance. Yep, and Paolo will be pretty happy with that. Shots from distance, we can deal with those. Um, to be fair, Paolo Gazaniga hasn't really been troubled so far in this game with... 85 minutes on the watch, you know, uh, you're pretty happy with how the defence has done. Obviously, the experience of Gardos in there has helped shore up the defence tonight, but Saints have looked pretty comfortable. 
Good play from Isgrove. He's got an opportunity here. Fires it low. Great finish. 2-0. Terrific goal from Lloyd Isgrove and that will seal the three points for Saints. He's done well there to cut inside and uh, fired it from about 25 yards out. Uh, you've got to get some power on it to beat the goalkeeper from there and he's done really well and that should wrap the game up 2-0. Did of course keep one against Tottenham in their last home game. That was played at St Mary's but they'll be desperate to keep one here again this evening. Especially up against 10 men. That's a good ball in though and that's a header from Smith but it's over the bar. Is Isgrove. Will there be one final attack, one final goal? It's in from Isgrove. And oh, it's almost turned home by Seager and Gallagher. Sinclair jumps. And there's the full time whistle. It's finished here. Southampton 2, Liverpool 0. Second half goals from Ryan Seager. And Lloyd Isgrove seal the victory. And, and Tom, your reflections on that one? Yeah, the uh, game probably turned at the moment that Ryan Seager put the ball in for 1 0 up until that point. Liverpool have probably been the better side in the second half, but the goal changed the game. Ryan. We made hard work of it. We uh, spluttered through most of the game, some, some good periods, some good approach work, and then um, we weren't clinical enough in the final third and sometimes made poor decisions. But, you know, three points, everybody's very pleased. Um, we'll uh, be getting ready for the next game now. And does it say something about your side's resilience that they're able to sort of uh, dig in, I guess, and get the two goals at the end there? Well, it does, but, I mean, we've had a very experienced side out this evening. So when you look at the calibre of play, you would you, you would expect that from them. Um, it's very important that they get game time. Um, so the tempo is very good. It's good for uh, people like Prousey and, um, and Harry to get 90 minutes. It must be nice as a coach for you to be able to field a side that strong in an under-21s fixture. Well, it is. I mean, I think we had three overage players, but you've got to remember that the, the likes of Prousey and Harry are still eligible, you know, to to, to play in in uh, in in this competition, um, and that's important. And over the last couple of weeks, we've spoken about the sort of um, defensive frailties that that have been exposed at times. A clean sheet tonight can't really ask for much more than that, though. That's right. I think Paolo was hardly tested. I think he's had one. One safe to make when they open us up. But, um, that's pleasing. Macker had to play in a different position tonight, and obviously when you've got uh, um, Florin at the back, then you, you know you have to change things around. Uh, you, you carved out a number of opportunities to score at the, at the other end as well tonight. How pleasing was it to see your side do that? Well, it, it, I mean the two goals were of quality, but um, we didn't we didn't really test their keeper enough. Both on on set plays, we've had loads of corners and wide free kicks. And in, in some of the, uh, the the final passes, so again we'll keep working at that. We need to get better and better at it, and that's uh, some of the practices that we'll we'll keep doing on the training ground.